Right then, shall we talk about a car you can't buy? So this car here, if you could call it that, is the car that Dacia will be taking to the Dakar Rally and it's called the Sand Rider. It's uh, basically, it's going to compete in the top class uh, of the Dakar Rally, the T1 Plus, uh, and it's a bespoke car using the lessons learnt from ProDrive's previous entries um, with, their, with their Hunter car. But using the lessons learnt, they've built a completely new car from the ground up, probably. Uh, they also are working in association with Alpine uh, to develop this car, so it's all kept within house um, to be basically competing for the win. Um, it's going to be powered by a 3 litre uh, V6 from Nissan and it will produce about 360 horsepower, but it will run on synthetic fuel uh, supplied by Aramco, you know, the people you see on the side of Formula One tracks, literally everywhere. The pigments in the carbon fibre are actually uh, designed in such a way to reflect heat, to keep, to help with cooling, uh, which is uh, patented technology or patent pending, I believe. Uh, so this could potentially see its way coming to Formula One. How ironic to think that Dacia technology could be in Formula One. But there you go. Those are the times we live in. It's also on the seats. It's got antibacterial um, seat uh, upholstery uh, so that um, when it's very humid, very sweaty, and not a very pleasant place to be when you're out in the Saudi Arabian desert. Uh, the seat can, uh, can make sure that the driver is keeping fresh and being at their optimum uh, when they are racing. They will be developing a new fuel for this car, which means it will produce zero CO2 emissions out the exhaust. None at all. Um, it's got aircraft grade uh, anti-reflective paint on the dashboard. Uh, so that they don't get sun glare when they're battling those dunes and it's like sky sand, sky sand. Um, and it's a modular dashboard, so everything's designed to be accessible for the driver. Speaking of drivers, we've got some big names associated with this project. Uh, we've got the nine-time World Rally Champion, Sebastian Loeb, who's going to win his first ever Dakar Rally to add to his various accomplishments in rallying and motorsport. Uh, Christina Gutierrez, who was uh, uh, the T3 uh, champion. Uh, and of course, we've also got the five-time Dakar winner, uh, Nasser Altair. We also had a chance to hear from Sebastian and Dacia boss, Denny Laveau. And I ask you, ladies and gentlemen, to welcome the Renault Group CEO, Luca De Leo. Hi everybody, I really want to interrupt your great press conference, so it's a pleasure for me, Sebastian. I just have a small, you know, gift for you. Now, it's a very important birthday, so Thank you. welcome into the world of the old wise men like us. <laughs> Thank you. And we wish you all the best with that car. We, we're going to do as a team everything we can to make you win also this competition, which is missing to your palmares, as we said. But uh, hopefully, you know, you can make it and uh, I can guarantee that the whole Renault Group and Dacia will be behind you to get this thing done so that you can tick this box. Thank you very much, everybody. And, Thank you. Uh, you know, thanks for coming. Thanks for giving me the chance to be here. Bon anniversaire. Merci. driven a normal Dacia, a street Dacia. Yes, I drove some just a fast control. And what's your impression? Honestly, I think we, we had fun with uh, the Duster. I, it was, uh, as I remember, was in Morocco. We had two Duster, me and a friend. We had to go uh, like for many kilometers and we were really surprised of the stability of the car uh, at quite high speed. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you, you drove
solve it on sand. Little bit, not yeah. much. Uh, Dacia is also a Romanian brand because many of the cars are made in Romania. Do you have uh, memories about Romanians or Romania in your motorsports career? You must do that. <laughs> and then test the car with him. Or go to the Transfederation, the road which is in the mountains. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see, very, very uh, imposing vehicle. And it's really, really been well thought out. So things like down the side here is magnetic. So when you're needed to change things and you've got bolts everywhere, you don't want to be losing them in the sand. So you can mount, you can literally just throw them onto the bodywork of the car so you don't lose them. And the wheels there, they're just one strap, whip them off, out comes the wheel so you could change the wheel in case of a puncture before you get back. Um, back to service. Um, it looks very similar to the Dacia Manifesto, but um, the Dacia design team have worked very closely with ProDrive to develop this car to make sure that while it meets the design brief of Dacia, it isn't compromised in any way uh, in the search of performance. Dacia are making no bones about this. They're going out to win. They want to beat Toyota um, and the other established elite in the T1 class. So yeah, this is the car they reckon they're going to do it with. Of course, we'll be keeping an eye on what this car does. So if you want to find out more about the Sand Rider, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you get notified whenever we load up new content about this, the road cars, or anything else stature related that we think is pretty cool. I mean, I'm loving this. <laughs> and of course, you can also check out us on social media, so SMC Datcher for Facebook and Instagram. And of course, you can check out our website, smcdatcher.co.uk. There you can see all the latest deals we have on the road going models. There's no deals on this, you can't buy it. And of course, where to find us in Aldershot and Weybridge. Otherwise, I'm Max. Thank you very much for watching. We are SMC Motor Group at the Geneva Motor Show. And I will see you on the next one.